Day three of the Mark Heath Lloyd trial is underway. The state presenting what one detective called a mountain of evidence against Lloyd accused of killing Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton. News 6's Nadine Yanis has been covering the trial and is back in court today. Nadine, what are the jurors listening for today? Well, Kirsten, yesterday the state took these jurors through second by second of the shooting at the Walmart. Today, they heard how Mark Heath Lloyd ultimately got away and they were taken through the eight day manhunt and his capture. Take a look. What we heard yesterday is where we ended in court is when the jurors heard from both the Orlando police captain who said Mark Heath Lloyd actually shot at him about 10 minutes after the shooting and then the man who testified Mark Heath Lloyd carjacked him. This morning jurors were shown pictures of that scene where prosecutors say Lloyd crashed through a fence and a yard and ultimately ended at another apartment complex. Bud Hounds there actually finding a pile of clothes presented to the jury today. That same black shirt with security on it that Lloyd was wearing at the time of the shooting at the Walmart pulled out of an evidence bag and shown to the jurors today. The state then take calling back the lead detective to talk about how it was after this Lloyd's trial. Lloyd's trail went cold, not finding him until eight days later. That location the trail went cold. Yes, sir. And in fact, no one uh, reported seeing Mr. Lloyd, a, a verified report of seeing Mr. Lloyd for the next eight days. That is correct. Um, and that's despite the fact that there was a lot of law enforcement officers looking for him. Can you tell us the next date that law enforcement was able to locate Mark Heath Lloyd? It have been January 17th. One of the Orlando police homicide detectives, Mike Fields, uh, was uh, at the wiretap room and he called us and said, hey, we're hearing a voice and one of the people here who has had dealings with Mr. Lloyd believes it's Mr. Lloyd on the phone uh, and we homed in on that particular phone. And just before lunch, the jurors heard from two U.S. deputy marshals who actually captured Mark Heath Lloyd. Now, this is sure to come up again. The defense wanting to show that uh, police had bias against Lloyd. The state did not go into the injuries Lloyd sustained when he was arrested. So you can be sure that's going to come back up in trial. But it's still the state's turn to present their evidence. Again, six witnesses already called this morning. We're told after lunch, the medical examiner takes the stand. It is going to be a long afternoon for these jurors. We'll have the latest right here outside of court at New 6 starting at 4.